In this video, we're going to learn about the list notation, which is going to make it a lot easier for us to write long lists in things like tests and other kinds of example data. Before we can use the list notation, what we have to do is go to Dr. Racket, and then down here in the left corner where it shows the language we're at, right now we're at beginning student, we're going to click on that and we're going to switch to beginning student with list abbreviations. So congratulations, today we're graduating to the next most advanced language. So what does the list notation let us do? Well previously if we wanted to make a list that had, for example, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in it, we would write it like this. And that says there's a list whose first item is 1, and the rest is a list whose first item is 2, and the rest is a list whose first item is 3, and empty. And we've learned how to understand that and use it, but it's always been cumbersome. What we can do now is we can just say list 1, 2, 3. And that's a list of three elements, the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now just as we did with cons, lists can be expressions as well as values. So we can write something like this, 1 times 2, 5, divide 9, 3. We could put expressions in the list, and now let's run all three of these and see what they look like. Cons produces lists just as it did before, but now Dr. Racket is going to show us those lists using list notations. So we'll get list 1, 2, 3. And of course list 1, 2, 3 is that same value. And here where we have expressions in the list, the expressions get evaluated and what we see back is a list that's just values. So from now on, when you switch the language to beginning student with list abbreviations, Dr. Racket is going to show you lists using list notation. You could still construct them with cons, and we'll see sometimes you have to construct them with cons, and you can have expressions in the list. Of course we can have lists that have other kinds of values in them, like strings, and we get the list with strings in it here. Now one really important point, when you're designing a function that adds one item onto the front of a list, you still need to use cons. Let me just comment out those, and we'll give this list a name. And I want to draw your attention to the difference between two things. If I say cons apple onto L1, then run it, what I get is the list A, B, dog with apple cons onto the front of it. I get the thing I wanted, a list with one new thing on the front. If I say list apple L1, I'm going to get something quite different indeed. What that's going to do is it's going to give me a list of two elements where the first element is apple and the second element is that other list. That's sometimes what you want, but often it's not what you want. It's a fairly common mistake actually to use list instead of cons in this position. So just be on the lookout for it if you start to see strange values like this where you have to have a list with an element and then the second element is itself another list. This will probably be the problem you have. The basic way to think about it is if you want to add one item to a list, use cons. If you want to make a list with multiple items, use list. Okay, I want to tell you about one other function, which we've actually had this function before, but I'll just remind you of it now called append. Append takes multiple lists, and what does append produce? Let's comment out these cases here now. and we'll run that. Append takes multiple lists and combines all their elements together into a single list. So Append of L1, which is the list A, B, dog, and the list X, Y produces A, B, dog, X, Y. Okay? So you really want to focus on the difference between cons, list, and append. Cons adds one item to a list, list makes a list of multiple items, and Append combines lists together. 
One other point, and then I'll give you a little exercise to do. If this list abbreviation confuses you, don't use it. Okay? You could still write lists using cons if you want. So if you feel ready to transition to this list abbreviation now, go ahead and use it. If you find it easier to keep using cons, because cons reinforces the self-referential nat nature of the data definition for lists, go ahead and keep using cons. That's fine. Okay. We're going to start using, in lecture and in videos, we're going to start using list notation. So you need to be able to, le you need to, be able to read list notation, but you don't necessarily need to be able to write it right away. Finally, let me give you a little exercise to do. Let me make one more list here. We'll call this x, y. So I've got this list a, b, dog, and the list x, y. And to test your understanding of this material, I want you to ask yourself what the following produce. Append l1, l2, list l1, l2, cons a, l2. I'm not going to do a thing where we stop the video and let you start it again. Just type these into your own Dr. Racket. Decide for yourself what these are going to produce. Write that out by hand and then check your work against Dr. Racket. Just to be sure you understand append list and cons before we go on. So that's the end of this video in which we've shown you the list notation which gives you a more concise way of writing lists and we'll be using this especially in check expects and example data.